uh, it's important for me, and I hope for you too, to try to get in touch with creation, because we so often just live in our little boxes where we don't we don't really get in touch with with the world as God made it. You were probably uh, you can probably identify. You know, we we wake up in the box of our beds on our box spring mattresses and. We uh, are in our the box of our bedroom, then we go into the box of our bathroom, and then into the box of the shower, come out and look in the box of the mirror, and uh, go to the box of the closet, and uh, get out some clothes, and go down to the box of the kitchen, and open the cupboards, uh, which are also boxes, and maybe pull out a box of cereal. Uh, maybe we'll pour it into a rounded bowl. That rounded cereal bowl and the rounded toilet bowl might be the only two round things we've seen so far today. Uh, then we get into the box of our cars and drive, uh, of course, staying within the traffic lines to the box of our office buildings. And many of us go to cubicles uh, where we stare at the box of computer screens all day and then get in the box of our cars and ride back to the box of our houses and spend the night watching the box of our televisions, and it's no wonder that we feel pretty boxed in. That's why I think it's so important for us to get out into creation. You don't find many right angles in creation. You find all kinds of amazing shapes. Think of the shapes of of leaves and the shapes of trees and, and just the shape of the leaves, make, the, the veins making their way through the leaves. Uh, nothing to me is more depressing than to imagine a tomato plant growing with cubicle tomatoes on it. And then you think of the difference between being in a box and standing under the open sky. Uh, It is so important to reconnect with creation.